Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is a video on some code I worked on over the weekend showing how to integrate Firebase with Remix. Um, Firebase is something that I've is kind of always been my go-to when I'm first trying to build something I need a simple back end. Um, recently I you know lean on Superbase a little bit more and with Remix I usually just throw together Prisma and connect it to SQLite and I'm off and running. But, you know, Firebase is like my old friend and so I figured let's see how one might go about implementing Firebase with Remix. Um, what I found is there's some in a couple of interesting solutions. Um, the solution that I've used in this sample application, which I'm just gonna walk through, I'm not gonna type a bunch of code, um, is I do, I use the Firebase client SDK to make API calls and I use the server to create a session token that I verify whenever I go in between routes. So the idea is log in or authenticate, get the token ID from Firebase, pass it to the server, save it in an HTTP cookie, and Every time I move along, I verify that my cookie is still valid using Firebase admin calls to check the token to make sure it's still valid. On logout, I basically revoke the token and then I call a Firebase logout also. Um, the other thing that I've done is I also implemented Google Login. Same thing is I use the Firebase SDK calls to implement Google Login on the client side. On successful login, I take the coke, uh, I take the token, and I pass it back to the server, and then follow the same process along the way. Um, it works. I'm gonna see if I can make the whole thing work without passing any tokens to the server. That's something I'll try in a later video. But this was kind of where I ended up now, kind of taking the remix approach to everything. So um, take a look at the code. As usual, there's probably some interesting things that can be done to optimize it. Please feel free to leave comments below on your thoughts. And thanks for stopping by the channel. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this simple. And just, so let's just start at the top. Let me move myself to the bottom. Let me shrink myself and move myself down to the bottom here. And let's kind of go through some of the basics first. I'm assuming you know how to set up a Firebase project. Um, so you will need to create these files are not included in the source code repository. There's a Firebase config.json file, which is this file, which is where I pull my Firebase configuration in. This is information you can get from your Firebase project. And then since I am using the admin, there's this service account here. And if I go to, let's see, my, that's my Firebase service, my Firebase sessions at server. You can see here up at the top how I initialize my admin. I need this service account JSON. This is a file that you can get from your Firebase project also. I'll include links below on how to get access to all of that stuff. So let me start with what I'm doing on the server first. But let's take a look at this Firebase sessions at server.js. .jsx. And so what you can see is I'm, initi I'm initializing Firebase right here at the top. And as I said, I'm using the Firebase SDK to kind of handle all this here. This is basic cut and paste from Firebase, which is how you get access to an admin account and using this search. Then the next thing that I'm doing here is I'm using, uh, what is it called? The, uh, uh, I'm losing my words, the Remix uh, cookie, create cookie function here to create my base cookie. It's an HTTP only cookie. And then the basic idea is that I want to, well, I'll get back to my is session valid and my session cookie redirect, I'll get back to that. And my session logon is really, maybe I can use a better name, but basically what I'm doing here is, this is where log in a session by verifying the token, if all is good, create set cookie and redirect your appropriate route. So this is the ID token that's getting passed in from uh, Firebase. And sorry about my phone getting passed in from Firebase. Then what I do is um, Firebase admin has this create session cookie. And so that's what I'm doing with this token. And then I'm 
this is the part that I think there's probably an easier way to do, but it's what I'm doing now is after I create this session cookie, I take this cookie and I pass this cookie to my own function called set cookie and redirect. And in here, I take the session cookie, which is really a token. So that, that's the part that I think I'm, there's probably an easier way to do. And I create my own cookie and I save my cookie and then I redirect to this new route. And as I'm talking through this with you, I think that I don't need to create my own cookie. I probably can just take this session cookie that I get from here and just pass that and redirect. But uh, maybe in the next video, I'll refactor this and see if that approach works also, but this approach that I currently have now. So the idea once again is you on my session login, I take the ID token, I create a session cookie with the with the ID token. This is a Firebase admin call. And then I take it and I wrap it in my own cookie. And then I serialize it. And then I redirect to the route. And then the other thing we do inside here is we verify, well, we verify that we have a valid session. And so what we do is we get the cookie. Excuse me. We get the cookie from the header, we get the session cookie, and then we verify it. We get the token from the cookie and we verify it with, sorry, we verify it with Firebase. Once again, this is the Firebase admin auth, verify session cookie. If it's true, then we move on, otherwise it's false, and we redirect and we throw an error. So we're going to send back the error message if it's not valid. And since we're throwing an exception, it will redirect us uh, to what, wherever we tell it to go. And I think I'm passing in normally on an invalid session. I want it to redirect back to the login page. So that's what we're doing in the server, in this Firebase session server. We're doing two things, two main things. We're logging in the session, which is basically taking a token ID, creating a, creating a session cookie and saving it. And then the other thing we're doing here is we're validating it um, for each route that we go on. And we're, once again, both times we're using the Firebase admin to check everything. So now if I go back to my uh, Remix project and let's hop in here to the index. So as we get to our index file, but you can see in the index file when it's first loading, I want to check and see if my session is valid. So I pass it in a request, and if it isn't valid, I redirect to the login page. Um, so let's follow the path for the first time. So what happened then is that I'm going to end up here on my login page. So now let's let's go and take a look at my login page. So now if we look at our login page. Where's my loader? So right now, I guess this is just some legacy code I have left over my loader page where um, I'm getting the cookie and I'm parsing it to get the session cookie and just logging out to test it. But other than that, I'm not really doing anything here, so I just return a value. So since I'm on my login page, I want, I want the user to be able to log in. So let's scroll down here. Let's start with the action. So first of all, I have my action function here, and the action function is going to get called when the user hits the submit button. Now, as you can see on this page here, I have this my login with email. So let's go down and see my code on my page. So I have two buttons, and then these things on the bottom are the links. So inside my form, I have my first button, which is my login with email button, which is this button, which you can see is a submit button. And my second button is this login with Google. This login with Google is not a submit button. I'm actually calling a function. Um, these two other buttons, register and forgot password, those are just links which takes you to two other pages, A to create an account and the other ones to get your forgot password email sent to you. So let's start with the login, which is going to be triggered by the submit. So here's my login with the email with the type submit and as you notice, submit calls the action function and so let's take a look at what's going to happen in the action button. Um, in the action button, I'm going to get my form data, which the important things I need are the email and the password. I also have a field um, called Google login that I set when the login is supposed to be handled by Google. Um, and then the other thing I'm doing here is I'm um, 
just s signing out just in case there's any previously authenticated um, user left over or anything inside of Firebase. So that's what the sign out auth will do. Uh, we'll follow a Google path later, but since it's not a Google login, then we come here and we're calling, as I said, we call the Firebase client APIs to do our login. And so we're going to log in using the email and password. And if it's successful and I get a user, I'm going to get the uh, ID token from that user and then I'm going to call my session login. And if it's successful, it's going to redirect to the index page. And so we already covered the session login file. Otherwise, if we got some error, we're going to pass the error back as um, action data. And you can see here we're getting the action data. And if we run into an error, we're rendering the error down here at the bottom. Now let's follow the other path. And so if I'm going to log in with Google, as you can see, uh, where is my login with the Google button? My login with the Google button, I'm actually calling a local function. So let's go to sign in with Google. You can see with my sign in with Google, this is this is basic Firebase authentication code. I'm getting my Google Auth provider. I do a sign in with pop up. And so it pops up the window. Where's my Google? Here's my Google Auth. It pops up the window. And then it redirects me to index on successful log authentication and follows the same pattern. Except here um, in my response, I get my user and off my user, I get the ID token. And then here I'm using the fetcher to basically submit back to my action that we spoke about later. But this time when I submit to my action, you can see I'm passing my ID token. I'm passing Google login is true. And I'm saying the method is a post. And then if you see, as we scroll back up to my action function here, I'm getting my form data, Google login. If Google login, then I do my session login. I pass the token that I got from the form data. And then my redirect route is set back to index. So if everything is fine, it redirects back to index. Otherwise, it throws an exception and it'll throw it an exception and redirect. So that's kind of how our basic login works. There's something a little extra that we're showing here. We have this querying the Firestore database here. So let me just show you. I'm, I'm not actually doing anything magical there. If I go over to my index, you can see um, what I'm doing is once you hit your index page, I'm, just, I'm checking once again to see if your session is valid. If it's not valid, I redirect you to login page. But you can see down here, these are just the normal Firebase API calls that I'm making to get my query snapshot. I'm collecting my data. I'm setting it to the response data right here. And then I'm kind of just packaging up everything I got. So the authenticated user, any error messages, the decoded claims that I got back from Firebase when I logged my user in. And then I'm passing in my response data, which is this data that you can see I'm getting right here from these, this Git docs and this whole query snapshot loop. And then that all gets packaged up as JSON data and returned. And then inside of my page here, you can see I'm using my use loaded data to get the data and then just kind of parsing it and rendering it out. Um, and then the last thing you can see here is kind of my logout. This could probably be cleaned up a little bit here, but um, basically what's happening is I'm getting my my cookie, get my session cookie, I'm creating a new cookie. In this one, I'm trying to basically clear everything out. I'm setting my token to null. I'm setting an expiration date and a max age to these values to kind of clear it, and then um, I'm I'm setting it back the cookie on my header, and I'm redirecting. Once again, this was my first stab at this, and I'm pretty certain there's some optimizations that I can do with the way I'm handling these cookies. But I just wanted to see if it could get done and kind of put it out there and look for some feedback from some folks out there. So if you know of a better way or some suggestions on how I can clean this up, happy to uh, listen to some comments, which you can leave below. Because uh, that's the important thing. Let's The last part here is if I... Let's go, let's log out again. Come on, log me out. Um, the register function kind of works the exact same. Let's come over here, take a look at register. You know, exact same approach as before. We have our input fields. 
we have our submit button right here submit we'll call our action my action do the same thing basically sign out call the firebase function get the token pass it to my session uh, this has a default of redirect to index but we can just add it in here make sure it goes to the index on redirect and then if there's not an error yeah this whole all this all this code uh, this was originally how I did it but I've kind of moved all of this code here of getting this cookie in the session everything I moved it into my um, I wrapped it into this kind of redirect with cookie function that I created up here. So let's give you go back over here. Where's my my set cookie and redirect function here that I created. So this like I said this is a kind of a work in progress where I've just started to kind of uh, migrate things and clean up a little bit. Um, but this is, I mean, hopefully you get the basic idea. Uh, please give me some feedback, share your thoughts. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more uh, content, and I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.